first off, this isn't a how-to video. This is just how I have been doing it. Um, essentially, I'm a dual boxer. I run two hunters, so I get to um, cover two, two of the four spawn points at a time. Um, there's a lot of information and how-to videos up there. You can get your information from as for uh, times of spawning, etc., etc. Um, uh, basically, the two spots I've been camping is uh, this uh, northeast spawn point up by Alduar, as well as the south point down by frost hold so I have those two points covered at all times um, from the information that I have basically if uh, Varagosa is up time loss proto drake cannot be up at the same time so going by that as soon as I see Varagosa I kill her skin her if I can or get somebody else to skin her to get rid of her the the, the corpse faster so then basically from that point the information that I go by is that it is possible that time lost proto drake or Varagosa will spawn again in 45 minutes after the uh, I'm not sure if it's actually after the death of Varagosa or if it's just after the despawning of her body um, but either way I go by I start at 45 minutes from the killing of Varagosa. So 45 minutes later I go back and I check again those two spots or if, I'm, if I left, um, that is. Basically, I'm also going by the six hour spawn time. So basically if it's not up 45 minutes later after I kill Varagosa, I pretty much put my eggs in the basket at six hours. I come back six hours later. Um, so, for instance, if, uh, like for instance, my last kill, um, I think it was around five after seven p.m., uh, killed very Gosa. So I set my, my windows to, uh, basically I came back at 22, eight, and sat around till about 8.30. Um, and then, you know, I didn't see anything, so I left. And now I'm, I'm back again. It's 11 o'clock. I'm pretty much not guessing to see any, either Titan Boss Protodrake or Varagosa tell about uh, between 1 and 2 o'clock this morning. Um, my bet is basically 2 o'clock. It seems that after the reset um, Varagosa has been spawning closer to the top of the hour like 1 o'clock to ten, uh, 10 minutes after 1 o'clock kind of thing that was uh, the first time I killed her today the second time I killed her today was 7 o'clock so again 7.05 again at the top of the hour um, so going by that I'm figuring you know, 7.05, six hours later, two o'clock, right? Or one o'clock, one o'clock. So one o'clock to two o'clock, basically. Or 2.15 is how late I'll stay up um, to see if I get it. And that's basically all I do. Now, the other things that do come along with hunting the time loss proto drag is the more rares across Northern that are killed and downed and kept down, the better chances that either Varagosa or Time Loss Proto Drake will spawn. So sometimes, see I'm hunting it for my secondary account. I already have the Time Loss Proto Drake on the first account. Um, so I'll leave the, the account that needs the Drake in the spot that I think most likely to see the spawn and, and this today it's been down in the south uh, twice now I've seen it both times in the south and um, 
so basically I'll leave that that hunter there um, and I'll take the other hunter and I'll kind of fly around sometimes when I know there's a big window between like there's I'm not really expecting to see either one of them I'll take the main hunter and I'll just I'll fly all over all over northern the, you know continent to continent whatever province whatever you want to call it I'll go over all of them um, killing all the the rares that I see as soon as I see them that way I'm increasing the chances that either Baragosa or Time Loss Proto Drake will spawn. Um, so when it comes down to it, what I've seen and read and heard is that uh, Time Loss Proto Drake is a 1 in 7 spawn chance. Now that of course increases with um, how many times Baragosa has been killed since the last reset, how many times Proto Drake has been actually found and killed. There's a lot of different variables there. How many rares have been killed across Northern? And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm pretty much just camping the two spots, the, the, the four spots that uh, I find best. Actually, there's three spots that I find best. There's the, the, uh, the North one. Last week, he, uh, before reset, Varagosa was spawning up there. Um, probably two or three times for me last last week that I killed her and this week it's down in the south so that's why I'm really betting down here the third spot if I had a third person I'd put them over just to the uh, west of my south point to capture that third circle that third loop because this guy here can essentially be watching for both of these two south loops from this one spot just by I'm looking off that direction on this the smaller screen so that's essentially how I do it and uh, chances are whatever blizzard dictates them to be you know depending on all the different variables but in the end chances are I will get it a second time and when I do I hope I capture it on video thanks for watching I hope it does kind of give you a guide and a little bit of insight and in how uh, how to get your own time loss project. Thanks, like, share, subscribe, all that lovely stuff.